it was a it was a journey. It was an ordeal. I know it kind of gives you know children's entertainer vibes. This design, but I still really like it. <laughs> oh, there's a cat down there. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so for today's video, um, so I found this guitar, well technically my sister found it, under her bed. And she let me have it, mainly because she doesn't play guitar. It must have been from like years ago when maybe she wanted to learn and then didn't end up learning or whatever. So I'm editing and I actually found this video of me playing this guitar from June 2012. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I muted it because my guitar skills and my singing skills were, uh, not there. <laughs> but this is the guitar, and I kind of thought that I could give it, you know, a little bit of a makeover. It's a first act guitar, which isn't really a high quality type guitar, but I thought with like some new strings, a good dusting, you know good, like, <laughs> some judging up. It could be, like, a pretty decent instrument to have. So, I have, like, some, uh, I have some wood stain to make the wood look a little nicer. I got some nice new strings. So, I'm really excited. And I also have an idea of how I want to actually paint around it. <laughs> so, I have a little sketch, uh, right here. So here's my idea for what I want it to look like. I've never really like, painted my own instrument before. So I figure like, you know, this is a good one to do it on because if I mess up, it's like, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money on this guitar. So I just thought I could use some judging up and then hopefully I will have a nice new guitar to play. And yeah, it'll be really pretty. And yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, so first things first that I need to do here is I need to take these strings off, um, dust it, clean it, get this little rant, like the, this kind of decal off somehow, and yeah, and I'll do that off camera and then we'll see where we go from there. So yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> So this is what it looked like before I cleaned it. As you can see, that pickguard there is peeling off, so that's why I took it off. And also the decal was chipping off, it was already chipped, so that's why I had to take it off, and yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's been a while since I last worked on this video, since I filmed the last segment, but I'm outside now because I'm gonna stain this bad boy and yeah fumes so <laughs> i'm gonna get to work on that yeah <laughs> so this is what the guitar looks like right now um yeah, no, it didn't turn out at all like what I wanted it to turn out like. It, um, it kind of, I mean, it soaked into, like, a few spots, but then it took forever to dry, so I ended up wiping it off, and I tried it again, like, using better technique, and it just, you know, it, I didn't like how it looked. <laughs> so, I have this, um, I have this antique walnut um water-based wood stain which doesn't smell which is really nice so i can do it inside and not out in the dark and the cold because sunset at four o'clock and i love that um <laughs> uh yeah and i'm hoping this antique walnut color will kind of blend everything together make it look cohesive make it look less weird um yeah, I know, I'm not an expert woodworker or anything. If you are, you're probably at home and you're like, oh my god, that looks horrible, what is this girl doing? And you know, you're kind of, you're valid, you're, 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 that's fair. But yeah, so I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get this, pour this out and start working on that and yeah.
So I stained the guitar, <laughs> finished staining it. Um, this is what it ended up looking like. I hope you can see it. I like how it came out. And now the last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it and then you'll get to see the finished products. So that's what I'll next be talking to you. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited to finish this up. <laughs> I finally finished painting the guitar, and this is what it looks like. I hope you can mostly see it, but you'll also see it when I do the final reveal, so stay tuned for that. All I have left to do now is varnish it, and then uh, add the strings. So I'm really excited about that, so I'm just gonna go uh, buy some varnish, and then add that on, and seal in this nice masterpiece here. Um, I know it kind of gives, you know, children's entertainer vibes, this design, but I still really like it. Yeah, I think it's really unique and cool, and yeah, no one out there has a guitar like this, and that's really exciting, and I love that. So I'm really excited to uh, just, you know, finish it soon, and then just have this new guitar! Woo! <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, I got this lovely varnish at Michael's. Um, it's for acrylic paint. Um, this is acrylic paint. I hope it doesn't do anything to the um, like the um, wood finish I have here. I will cry if it does that because you know, you know how long this took. It was, it was a it was a journey. It was an ordeal. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna seal it in, and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to finally finish this. After I seal it in, after I do that, then I can add the strings, and then I'll have a playable actual guitar here, and that's like so exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll check back in with you when I do that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the last step. Finally, I'm really excited to get some strings on this bad boy. <laughs> I'm really excited to get some strings on this guitar and have it like be an actual guitar. Yeah, so that's gonna be really fun. Um, I have these um, Daddario Pro Arte Nylon Core. Um, they look like this in the package. Um, I got them from Sweetwater.com, which I would highly recommend because they're, like, really nice. They send, like, little, they always send, like, a little, like, gift of a little, like, bag of candy because they're sweet water, which is really cute. But they have a lot of good guitar strings and stuff on there, so. I wanted to get these nylon strings because my other guitar has steel strings, so I thought it would be cool to have a guitar that has nylon strings to kind of have a different vibe and, you know, to sound a little bit different, and yeah. So I am excited to put these on, um, and yeah, let me just get a little bit of dust off there, and yeah, so... So, I put all the strings on. Do they sound right? No. So we're at the point where um, it sounds like... Yeah, perfectly in tune. Awesome. I can just go play all the, all the songs now. No, just kidding. Um, so, I'm gonna go just 
get my phone and um, slowly kind of tune each one to be the right note. And yeah, that's the plan. It's plan, Stan. And I gotta chop off these bits. So, um, yeah, then I guess I'll check back in once I do that. Um, yeah. Hello there. Time for the grand reveal. Woo! Okay. Um, so this is what the finished guitar looks like. Um, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool. Um, it's definitely not perfect, you know. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever, like, refurbished or done, uh, or painted a guitar. So, yeah. But I think it looks pretty darn cool. Like, if I, um, if I was at a music store and this guitar was on display, I would definitely want to buy it. I think she looks pretty cool. I think she sounds pretty cool, too. Yeah, I'm really proud of this guitar. I'm really excited to use it. It's really exciting because I have a new guitar now. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. I hope you learned something. You probably learned maybe that staining wood is harder than you think, but um, if you have a guitar you want to refurbish or an old guitar you want to paint or refurbish, I recommend to do it. It's super fun. It's definitely more in depth of a project than you realize. It was. <laughs> more in-depth of a project than I realized for me, but I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. But yeah, if you enjoyed, please, please do stick around. Please do subscribe. Um, that would be really, really awesome, because yeah, I have more stuff coming up. I'm gonna film a cover using this beautiful, beautiful masterpiece, and yeah, and I have way more kind of art-related projects too. So yeah, whether you're staying for the music, staying for the art, uh, I really appreciate you. So cute, you're so cute. Okay, go ahead, get down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>